Okay, so you write an LDR, standard LDR, which looks like this. And if we look at its relationship with light intensity, so we say as light intensity increases, the resistance in ohms of the LDR will fall as the amount of light increases. So <coughs> it does pose the question, well, how on earth can we use an LDR to turn lights on when it's dark? Because what we're basically saying here is when it's dark, the resistance is going to be really high, which that means that there's going to be less current flowing. So we use something called a potentiometer. If you do the A level, you'll see how this works, but just to give you an idea, what we have is a circuit, and what I do is I have a resistor here, and I have an LDR here. This is the LDR. I then have a bulb here and this all connects together to a battery supply for example which could be around about 12 volts now what happens is when it's dark the LDI here has high resistance let's just say it has one mega ohm worth of resistance this resistor here let's just say it's fixed at 100 ohms when it's dark so in the dark situation, you've got loads and loads of resistance here, which means current that's flowing from, let's just change these to positive here and negative here. Current that flows from the positive side to the negative side. When current gets to this junction here, because this is so high in resistance, most of the current will want to flow down here, which means the light will be on in the dark and this is the basic setup in every single street lamp in the UK and other countries as well you have some sort of light dependent resistor and they have this kind of setup which means when it's dark the LDR will have high resistance which will allow current to flow or be diverted down this path which will turn the bulb on now when it's light however so we just get rid of these and that and say this is in the light now if you look here as light intensity increases we'd expect the resistance to be really low so let's just say this is now one kilo ohm so instead of being millions of ohms it's now just a thousand ohms okay when current flows because we've got fairly low resistance here and fairly low resistance here you kind of get the current to to split and more will flow down the LDR than it would down the bulb. So for example if we had something like 10 amps here which is uh, slightly unrealistic but let's just <laughs> use this as an example. If we had 10 amps here at this point, I checked it with an ammeter, I'd have going down here I'd have maybe something like 9 amps Okay, and I have one amp going through the bulb. Now one amp going through the bulb is not enough to turn the bulb on. So this one amp means that the bulb stays off when it's light. It's exactly what we want. We want the bulb to stay off when it's daylight and when it's night time, when it's dark. This is going to change from a thousand ohms to a million ohms and because it's really high resistance there's really high resistance down here that 10 amps of current that's flowing through this circuit you'd get about maybe 9.9 .9 amps going down the bulb and only 0 0.1 amps going through the LED because it's really high resistance and all this 9.9 .9 amps going through the bulb will turn it on and that's what happens in the dark okay so that's how we use an LDR and this setup of one resistor and another resistor this setup you see here is called a potential divider it's called a potential divider okay and uh, we don't really need to know this particular setup until we're in a level but this gives you an idea because you're right your initial question was how is it how could we use an LDR 
to turn a light on because when it's dark resistance is going to be high so if you used if you were thinking of this kind of circuit where you've got an LDR in series with a bulb if we had this set up you're absolutely right it'd be useless because it means the bulb will be on when it's light when it's light the resistance will be low current could flow through the bulb and when it was dark resistance would be really high which means no current would flow through the bulb so this setup here a serial setup here will be useless okay you have to use the potential divider setup and this is kind of the same if we are using a thermistor so we could change the LDR for a thermistor uh, if you remember what the thermistor does as the heat increases the resistance of the thermistor decreases okay so I could put a thermistor in here and it would act in the same way to turn appliances on when the resistance of the thermistor is really high okay hope this answers your questions any more emails please let me know thanks very much bye